What is going on, all you beautiful people? Thanks for joining me for yet another video. And before we dive into today's knife, I wanted to ask you guys, do you like slip joints? Is it something that you enjoy? Do you dislike them? Did your grandfather or your father carry a slip joint and then hand it down to you? I want to know. Let me know down in the comments because for me, my history with slip joints is non-existent. There hasn't been a slip joint that like really caught my attention. I'm a more of a folder, you know, frame lock kind of guy, but that all changed a while back when Notorious EDC, our boy Tom, released his first knife. And it just happened to be a slip joint. And that's the knife we're talking about today. We are talking about the Notorious EDC Hangpin. This beautiful little knife right here. So as always, first and foremost, let's dive into some specs. The Kingpin has an overall length of 6.5 inches, and we've got a blade length of 2.9 inches with a cutting edge of 2.7. The blade material on the Kingpin is Bowler M390 with a gorgeous hollow grind, and we're looking at a drop point harpoon blade style in a satin finish. The titanium handles are ever so lightly bead blasted and on my version we've got a green micarta overlay. Tom did release three variants of the Kingpin for us to choose from like a full stonewashed titanium version, a black micarta with a satin blade, and a black micarta with a PVD stonewashed finish. So not knowing a whole lot about slip joints and this being my very first one I'm asking you guys for a little bit of mercy because I'm a little out of my depth here but I just love this knife so damn much that I couldn't resist not picking one up. I actually picked this up at Blade Show Texas. Notorious CDC's booth was the first place I stopped at, mainly to say hi to Tom. I've been chatting with him very little through social media and through comments, but it was so cool meeting him in person and picking one of these up with him there really pushed me over the edge to buy one. Now, here's the things that I love about the Kingpin. Number one, it is just an absolute beautiful knife. Such a sleek, minimal design. I'm a fan of a harpoon blade right off the bat. The logo, the little N on the blade is ultra sleek and minimal. And on the inside, we have Notorious written out. Overall, this is just an absolute beauty of a knife. Very sleek, very much his style. If you check out some of the gear that he collects on Instagram, you can see that there is a lot of what he probably loves in other designs in the kingpin and i can really appreciate when somebody puts their their heart and soul and all the thoughtful little details into a piece like this now we can talk about the famous walk and talk that every youtube knife reviewer talks about when it comes to slip joints i know nothing i can't compare it to any other walk and talk of any other slip joint uh the best way that i can explain it is that it is tough enough where it gives you a little bit of like a push when you're opening it and closing it but not tough enough that it becomes a problem um with the harpoon blade you do have that little fuller on there that makes it super easy to grab the knife and open it up which i truly enjoy and it's just this a breeze to close it and the first thing that i actually was attracted to before i even picked one up brandon my buddy everyday minimalist had one on hand and he let me hold it, handle it for a little bit. And this sound right here, let me try and capture this for you. That right there, absolute money. I did that like four or five times and I decided, yes, this is the knife that I need to buy. And it was the first thing I bought at Palacio, Texas. Ergonomically, it is a fairly small knife. I can wrap all four of my fingers on it and have my thumb kind of sitting on the top here. Um, any higher than that, and you start, of course, moving that blade forward. Um, a big disclaimer, I accidentally tried to close it with one hand, trying to be fucking cool, and I cut myself like an idiot. So I wouldn't recommend doing this whole bit, like closing it with your thumb. Um, this is a classy knife, so we want to grab two hands and just boom close it up just like that like a classy gentleman so keep that in mind it is fairly small but that's what makes it so damn pocket friendly lanyard loop on there as well so if you wanted to put a lanyard loop and put it on a leather sheath or put it in your pocket you can easily access that as well everything is like beautifully chamfered everything is nice and rounded i don't feel any crazy sharp corners it is just so well made riot was a great option for this kind of uh knife they do everything just 
chef's kiss to Riyadh. Now, let's talk about packaging because packaging is super important to me. I am a package snob. Tom crushed it with the packaging. I know, I know. You're probably like, Ricky, you're just like, you know, riding him at this point. Like, say something negative about him. No, the packaging was awesome. Packaging was nice. It had his branding. It was minimal. It was sleek. You get a leather sheath for your slip joint, which is just so cool. And at $290, like, what more could you ask for? A little cleaning micro microfiber cloth as well. I mean, this man has thought of absolutely everything. And that is awesome because a knife like this gets a guy like me, who has never owned a slip joint, very curious about them. And because of this knife, I am now looking at slip joints. So thank you, Tom. My wallet is not happy, but my heart is very full. The leather sheath that it comes in has beautiful embroidering. It is just super sleek. It says notorious right on the front there and it fits into this leather slip ever so perfectly and i've been carrying this around daily i'll still carry a folder the folder is kind of like my primary but this is like a beautiful pristine blade that i can use to cut like fruit or, or any other things that i maybe don't want to get like tape or box debris on and i think that is where this excels for me as a non-slip joint guy I have grown to really enjoy this kind of design. I have grown to want to experiment a little bit more and kind of test the waters with other slip joints because I kind of want to narrow in on what I really love. And I think this is a very solid platform to do so with a wide variety of options with all the different finishes and styles, supports a great dude in the community who is just as supportive of everybody else. And at the end of the day, I think you should pick one up if you can find them because they are very limited. I think Tom on the site right now only has the black uh, PVD coated and the black micarta variant available. So if you want one of the other variants, you probably should follow them and like turn on all the notifications and really keep up to date on when these are going to drop. Blaze Show Atlanta is around the corner. I'm sure he's gonna have some more fun, exciting stuff. And that is it guys. That is all for today with the Kingpin. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. If you do, let me know down in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe if you're ready to see more of this content. Maybe some more slip joints. Maybe I have a slip joint on the way already. Just think about that for a little bit. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.